for a little while. And, she, and uh, at the time when I was when she was going, uh, I, I had a real affection for little. Um, I have a little stand in my house of just odd little curios, and I asked her to pick me up something like a tin soldier or something like that, some sort of little statue. She's medieval because she's going to England. So uh, she left and came back, and uh, she gave me what she had purchased. She shared with me this story. She studied even learning about World War II. And her, uh, of her uh, research or reading or what have you, she came to re had a realization. And the realization is that as she was reading about World War II and the blitz and things like that in England, uh, it, it, there was there were shortages of everything. If you went to a store, you couldn't buy elastic. You were purchasing maybe safety pins to make do. And I see some nods coming from some people who knew of it or heard of it from parents. There's a lot of things that were not available. Uh, the staples, when they went into the war effort, for people that were really just all things like that, things were recycled. And that also grew a culture since then of people protecting what they've got and keeping and collecting. Anyway, the story goes, is that she, she thought about this, is that if you went into a store, a general store, in the middle of the war, and perhaps you were looking for elastics, or perhaps you were looking for flour or something like that, and they didn't have it, what would be the point of going in and getting angry that they don't have it? Why don't you have, why don't you have elastics? Why don't you have flour? Why don't you have your what's, what's the matter here? Why, I want to buy some, why don't you have it? And people would look at you and say, well, don't you know we're in a war? Don't you know we're in a war? We're sacrificing to make the war effort. Don't you know we're in a war? And if I can pull that back to the modern day, when she gave me my little statue, my little tin soldier, every time I look at it, I still have it. It's been about 20 years. The phrase comes back in my mind, don't you know we're in a war? And the difference is, is that we are in a spiritual battle uh, in this world. There are spiritual forces opposing us, spiritual forces behind us, and we are servants and soldiers in the Lord's army.